So in this example, um, if you guys remember in your rules of exponents, I gave you guys x to the m over n is equal to x to the nth root, oh, I'm sorry, is equal to the nth root of x to the m power. You guys remember that? OK. So if you guys have this, you guys can, again, remember that if there's no power shown or no index shown, then we can assume it is 2. So therefore, this would be what a lot of students do. Oops, this didn't have parentheses, did it? Wait, it, it did have parentheses, OK. So therefore, this is 6a um, parentheses to the 2 over 4. Correct? And then obviously we can simplify that into 6a to the 1 half power. The one thing I want to notice, guys, 6a to the 1 half power is not the same as 6a to the 1 half. So a lot of students, if you don't include the parentheses, if you don't keep those parentheses, then the problem's wrong. Because this is 6 times a to the 1 half power, where this is 6 times a to the 1 half power. Yes? Uh, it'd definitely be 4 over 2. Yes, thank you. I switched those around even though I said it right there. The index is always your denominator. Thank you. But what I was talking about with the parentheses, though, is going to be the exact same thing, though. Yes, thank you. But does everybody say that? Yes? Wait, so for when um, the index is 2, don't you just, or when it would be 1? Because like when it is like a to the 1 half, you put in square root. Well, it's 4 over 2, which is just 2. Well, I mean, if you simplify this, what's 6a squared? This would be 36a squared. Oh, okay, okay. Which, if you simplify that, you'd get this exact same answer. Which now you can distribute across that. Since you have that expression is now being separated, 